Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time. This is Charisma with Collectibles for Resale and um, I'm a full-time reseller on e-commerce sites such as eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, etc. Um, today I am opening a Goodwill, um, they call it a, you know, like a mystery repurposed kind of auction jewelry auction um but this one you could see it was uh, they actually labeled it like gold tone or something to that effect let me see. so this was called silver eight and a half or 8.17 uh let's see let's see okay so they called it gold and silver tone box so that's what this one was and the winning bid was 28 26 but of course they're shipping and handling on four dollars in tax so came out to a little under 50 dollars, about 48 bucks so what i could see in the pictures um this was like what you could see when you were looking it just looked like a big lot of um bracelets and i saw something that had like a tag a new tag i can't remember what it was um i just opened up the top just to but i have not opened it yet but it's not like bagged up where you have like tons of dirt because normally I use my gloves. So I'm going to try it this time because it does get tiring using the gloves all the time. I definitely need it when it's like the bags that have a bunch of junk inside, but this one actually looked like it's fairly clean. So what I'm going to do is put everything into a clear box here, just to make it easier. And then that way it's not all over the table and we can just go through it. at the bottom a little bit of dust in the bottom of that box but not too bad so I think I'll be okay doing this without gloves so I'm just gonna kind of leave it off to the side and take each piece out and I'm not really gonna go over like prices individually um generally I'll sell them you know between five and ten dollars a couple bucks um depending on the if I see that it's like for craft I'll say you know it's for craft or I'll do it for a dollar but um I saw a lot of cool pieces in here. So they're supposed to be gold tone, silver tone. So this is a really cool, long, looks, reminds me of Wonder Woman bracelet, open cuff, but it definitely has some uh, discoloration on the, um, the, the color plating is fading. It's got some scratches. It's really cool. Um, but I don't think I could sell that like on eBay, you know, because of the issues with that. So that'll go in the crafter's loft. I'm gonna put a box to the side here. The original box. So if somebody wants that, that'll be a dollar. And I do direct sales here. You can comment, put the timestamp, put a small description um, of what the item is, and you can always email me. There's my collectibles for resale. That's just how it's spelled. C-O-L-L-E-C-T-I-B-L-E-S, number four. R-E-S-A-L-E at gmail.com. And um, it's easiest if you comment, timestamp, and then you can send me an email um, with what it is that you want. And anything first class under a pound will be $6 flat rate. So if you buy multiple pieces. And then if it's over a pound, um, I will do the cheapest priority, maybe flat rate if it fits in a package. So, all right. So we have this. This is cool too. These are just such neat pieces. I don't know. I'll see if I can get them cleaned. Not right this minute, but um, like this one and the other piece, I'll try to clean them up first and see if I can do something with them. But for now, they'll go to the side. So for about $50, I would say there's at least 50 pieces in here. So I think my cost of goods should hopefully not be too crazy on this. And a lot of these, just a the little patina, these would be good to like redo or paint. So this is kind of loose, but uh, yeah, that one doesn't stay closed. So same for this one. Go to my crafters. All right. Usually I stop and kind of go through, but since it's not a little, I don't see a lot of necklaces. Um, and then I have to edit it and my phone won't hold too much memory now. It's I keep having to delete stuff. So I would rather just do one take and hopefully you guys can live with uh, me being human <laughs> any mistakes i make i'm not just gonna edit out i'm just gonna post it so all right so this one is a, the first piece i would say sellable i don't see any issues with it and it looks like it's right on the seven and a quarter 
seven to seven and a quarter. And it has the little clasp right here. I'm not gonna open it, but this one looks good. I'll put that to the side. So something like that, I would do like $5. And that's for my viewers, not if I sell it on eBay. Um, here's a little bangle hook, silver tone, has this cute little design. Yeah. And I said, I'm not going to do prices, but I can, as I'm going through, if it's something I could just, so $2 on that. That's kind of small. It feels smaller. Well, it goes right to the seven. It just seems small. Let me see. Because I think I wear six and a half or seven. I can't remember. But yeah, okay. Just seems small, I guess, because it's dainty. There's that piece. Oh, what do we got next? Let's see. Huh? Okay. Is that stretch? Yeah, it's stretch, but it doesn't look like a stretch. It looks like solid. These little grooves. Oh, that one's nice. Let me see if the stretch is good. Yeah, it's still got a good stretch on it. So that's seven, but of course it would stretch further. So I would do two on this. Let's see what we got here. This is a nice chain. Very nice. Mm, I like these links. I'm not sure what they're called. But it looks like in between the spacers. And to me, that looks like a tulip if you put it sideways. But um, it's got like those little, is it smarkasite or just that design? Here we go. Here's the clasp. And I put up my loop last night. I was looking at some things. So I should pull it out. I don't know if, it's, if I have quick access to it or not. But mm, Let's see. So here we go. I don't see any maker's mark, but this is really, this is really cute. So let's see, that measures. Oh, sorry. Let's bring this closer so I can see. Sorry, I'm a bit of a mess today. I'm just going through a lot right now. And let's see, we've got eight. About 16 inches. Oh, this is really, really nice. Very, it's got some good weight to it. So something like that, I would do 10. Very nice piece. Put that to the side. Oh, this is a long dangle fashion. I don't know if the other one's in there. I'll put it aside if the other one's there. And get a couple bucks on that. So let's see what this is. Necklace. Yes, that is what it is. That's what it says. Mm, let's see. Is it necklaces or necklace? Oh, Vince Camuto. That's a good fancy designer. Let's see how this one goes. I've got a little bit of a little bit of tarnish there, but uh, that's nice. Now here's the maker's mark. Let's come out too. And this is a long double strand. So that goes to 16 and then to 17. So about 32 to 34 inches. Very cool. I like that piece a lot. All right, I'm just super disorganized today. I just, I was cleaning and going through bins and separating my jewelry and I was like oh my god I still have like 10 15 things coming and just to kind of give you guys a quick look that is another bag that is another box of like seven more bags of jewelry that I haven't opened plus I've got a bunch coming I just got so far behind I have a one of my uncles is in the hospital not doing too great and um, we've been back and forth trying to get his place prepped Poor thing had a major surgery and um, we're trying to get his home ready for him to come home because now he's going to technically be disabled So, as far as, you know, his mobility and things. So I've just been running around ragged and haven't really touched my work stuff, but I know it's like I have to start getting some things done. So I'm going to do that today and then go back to the other stuff tomorrow. So here we go. It's a stretch. It's not bad, but it is tarnished, and that color's coming off, so I'm gonna put that in the 
scrap slash one dollar and i have about 12 bags of like great i would say crafters lot but also most of them have like at least half is wearable and sellable and there are craft pieces but um just things that if i'm not going to sell it i just put it into craft because it's still sellable um <coughs> still very wearable but just not something i'm going to invest my time in so oh i love this piece look at the ends how they have that stone in there this is gorgeous yeah i love this piece and it's got the silver with the gold tone and then those pretty clear stones at the ends wrap around so this one i would do for 10 i'm probably going to list that for about 20 on ebay oh I, I remember seeing this in the picture too i thought this was so pretty got a big metal uh magnetic clasp clamper bracelet bangle so pretty look at that and i wish i'd gotten to this before christmas but either way it still only got her last week i think so i wouldn't have time but this is gorgeous it's very heavy so yeah that one's sellable there's a slight little bit of patina there but i mean this is just i love this as a statement piece so i'll do 10 on that and we've got one of these choker rhinestone Let's see. now see this is pretty and wearable but not something that i would necessarily sell on my own so i'm gonna put that in the crafters lot and but see this is what i mean this, somebody else would love this and probably sell it for you know a little bit of money but it's just not something that i'm interested in i don't want to mess with it so I'm putting that in the crafters and i have a big i'm gonna do a lot um a couple of crafter lots that are specified like i have one that's all necklaces one that's all bracelets i have so many bangles and bracelets Oh, look at this. It's so cute. It's kind of dainty. doesn't feel very heavy, but that's gorgeous. Got three strand, three open strand, rhinestones. Yeah, this is really pretty. That would be five. Oh, that's unfortunate. This is pretty, but look at that. Real big clamper. But this is all of this gold plating, the patinas showing cracked here. So this is definitely crafters. But like I said, anything someone's interested in, if it's going into crafters, you can have it for a dollar. Okay. Let's put in a little baggie. Oh, I like this. Let's see. Hopefully this isn't one piece. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen a stretch necklace. Well, it doesn't, I guess it does stretch barely, but it seems like that's just how it's attached. That's interesting. I have never seen that. But I've really only been dealing with selling jewelry for maybe three months now. I would do a piece every now and then, like for my mom, because she's a big jewelry person. But I wasn't, like, immersed in it like I am now. So that's really cute. Huh. I've never seen one that has this. Yeah. That's an interesting piece. So I would do three on them. That's really cool. Let's see. I'm going to start putting the bangles, like to the side because i like to put those all together this is a large gold tone hoop earring maybe there's a mate we'll see and this is another one like the one we just had a minute ago that's stretch but it's kind of faded it's got a little bit of the gold tone scratched up so i thought i'm going to crop drawers. so if i could get like maybe 10 pieces that are good sellable pieces then i'll feel like you know i can get my money back but i mean you always take a gamble but i i just want to do something different not like the normal um grab bags and stuff this one was kind of a little bit separated where they had you know anything gold tone silver tone so it's different than just you get whatever you get but that also came with the risk that a lot of it would be um faded and have the color coming off so I knew that. Take a chance. This is an Xavier. Still back watch. Movement, Swiss parts, water resistant. And it looks like mother of pearl background. It's pretty. I don't know that that's worth investing in. I was thinking about doing a, um, a lot of um, watches that are untested and maybe because I want to learn how to do it. Um, my mom, is, 
her and my stepdad are big watch collectors. They love Invicta and all the different, like, um, designer kind of watches and stuff. So, um, and sometimes she goes to the jewelry store and she's paid $20, $25 to get a battery done. And I was like, that's insane. And she told me with COVID, there was like nobody available anymore. So I, uh, I kind of want to learn because I've been seeing that it's fairly easy. So you can buy the batteries and then you buy like a watch kit on Amazon has them for about $15, $20. So I'm thinking really of doing that and like for personal use, but also when I get watches that I might be able to sell, you know, this would be cool. Another side way to make money, side project. So these are just little inexpensive gold tone fashion jewelry earrings. So I would do two on those, they're cute. Oh, I love this piece. Look at the design on this. It is gorgeous. It's like, it kind of is almost looking silver tone on some angles, but it is gold tone. You can see that. Gold tone cuff. The inside is like hammered. This is gorgeous. I love this. Yeah, that's really pretty. So yeah, I would do 10 for any viewer subscriber, but this will go up on eBay and Poshmark for a little bit more. Probably double. Um, here's a pretty statement kind of stretch. I don't normally keep many of the stretch, but I like this one. It's not, oh, it's got scratching here a lot. Let me see. Um, I watched Dr. Lori V talked about just using it white cotton cloth. I have seen other people talk about using toothpaste, but the thing is, I know because of costume jewelry, like you don't want it to be wet or to stay wet because then that's what causes that oxidation and discoloration. So with stuff like this, I think because it's just fashion, fast fashion, it probably wouldn't be worth the time to invest. This is cute though. So that'll be a dollar in crafters lot. know where that piece that I saw on the uh, picture but I'm hoping I'll be excited when I find it because it looked expensive but um you know you never know sometimes people who have little boutiques or like little mall brand might have a crazy retail price uh, this one I'm trying to it's got a little tassel or a piece of this stuck in there I really like the bracelet but can't get that out and I don't want to break it because look at this is so cool it's got these hanging but one of them is stuck here inside how did it get on there oh it's right at the end okay I'm gonna have to get tweezers or something to unhook it so this is so pretty though these hearts I'm definitely gonna get this separated so I would do 10 on this one um, this one too, the gold one, once I get these separated, unless they're, they get, um, messed up and stay like that, but I don't think so. It's just, just got hooked on there and I don't have twizzlers, tweezers right here with me. Twizzlers, I'm thinking of twizzlers. Okay, here's some more little bangles. Here's another clamper that desperately needs some genie rub-in cleaning. Let's see. Got a nice closure, like a safety kind of closure where it goes in. Yeah. It had a safety chain, but that's clearly that's not there. So, but this isn't bad. It's not necessarily to go to crafter. So I would do three on that one. Somebody you could add in a safety little chain there. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. There's a lot of cool, weird pieces that are not just like average where you'd see it anywhere so look at this bracelet it's got this like coil design here it looks hammered gold tone and then look at this cool hook it's got the little hook and then a huge closure so let's see how that goes all right yes super cool all right i'm loving that so it's like bendable in the middle that is super cool it's very different that's really neat yeah i would do eight on that that's very interesting. Oh, here we go. It's the other earring. I guess the back fell off. Not much is here. Yep. Okay. So these are pretty. And this is not necessarily anything that I would list. Um, 
but I did get some new pretty earring displays, some clear acrylic ones, so that would look pretty on those. Um, I would do three on these. I just need to put a backing on that. Okay, so somebody had this priced 18 wherever it was. Oh, huh, that's interesting. It just is attached on there, but it does, definitely doesn't go with this. Okay, let's see. How's it hooked on here? That's weird. Okay, talking to myself. Sorry, guys. I'm looking at it and talking to myself because it's very strange the way that was attached. Okay, so this is just a little bracelet. Very tiny, though. Super tiny. How long is this? It's just a little over five inches, so I'll put that in crafters, but that's a dollar if somebody wants that. Okay. So they had it hooked here, which it did not go with, but this is how this one... I feel like there's something missing. But that's the way it's closed. Oh, that's a cool... It's like an Omega kind of. It's got this... A little bit of movement, a little bit of stretch. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Like a choker kind of thing. Um, it's not going to give the most accurate, but it looks like it's about a 16. Yeah, this is pretty. Yeah, I would do eight on that. All right, we got some tangleage going. Oh, I see a tag. Okay, where is that tag? Let's see, hopefully it's not totally tangled up. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's undo some of these. Oh, this is cute. We'll get to that in a second. I love this closure. This looks vintage. Very cool. I don't know what you call this design, but it's really pretty. This is one I'll have to Google image search. But in between, it's got these really cool links. That is beautiful. Okay. So this one, I need to research and check what that is. It's very pretty. It's definitely a nice sellable piece. Okay. Here's another bangle. Here we go. What is it? Okay. Here's where I saw some kind of... Ah, it's probably boutique. Let's see. Piranha's Beauty and Boutique. Yeah. You couldn't tell because all I could see was like 105. And I had a feeling. I was like, it's probably just a boutique piece but it's actually pretty it's actually very pretty okay so at least it's a nice piece it's not just junk that they have totally overpriced but I mean yeah that's overpriced but that is really pretty there's a lot of work on that I don't see any issues with any of the stones that's really neat an interesting closure. I guess it's a pullover over your head. I don't know what you call it exactly. And then you just tighten it however long you need to tighten it. So yeah, that's a pretty piece. Okay. So I might do that online for maybe 30, but I would do um, 18 if somebody wants that through here. Okay. Got another one that kind of looks like an Omega again. Yeah, it's got a little bit of fading, a little bit right here. But I do think this could look nice, cleaned up pretty well. Let's see. And this one, I think it has a maker's mark. Something right there. Oh, this is Monet. Okay, well, that's even better. It's a nice, good name, designer name. So I'll look into that one. I found a few pieces of Monet this last week in another bag that I was like pleasantly surprised. I like this. It has this little groove. It almost looks like a kind of a heart, but it's like a V. Let's see. 
Oh, that is darling. Very cute. So this one I would do five on. Super cute. And we've got some more fancy schmancy stretch. Said I don't do too much with the stretch, but um, this is pretty. But yeah, that's going to go into my crafter, so that'll be a dollar. Another one. This is kind of loose right here. It's got nice components, but yeah, same thing. It's very heavy. It's a, it would have been a nice one, but yeah, that's a dollar in craft. And I won't send out crafts or list them for a couple of days. So if you email me within, you know, two, three days, um, I should still have the craft, but you know. I don't hold on to them for too long, so. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see any of the beads missing. This is kind of loose. It's a big one, so. That's another stretch I'm going to put into my crafters. All right, let's see. Got more bangles and more hoop earrings. I'll put those right here. All right, let's see. Oh, this is a cool chain. Is that a magnetic or is it? How do you do that? It's not a barrel. Oh, that's cool. That looks like a nice safety kind of closure. Oh, look at that. It's got two of them. Interesting. So I guess that's your extender. You can take it out and make it shorter. That is so cool. I've never seen one like this. Again, forgive my ignorance, just I'm new to this, so it's probably a common thing, but I really like that. It's got a really cool extender piece in there, and it just looks like part of the design. It's lovely. I really like this. I would definitely be able to sell this, so I would say on here for 20 probably do it for a little bit more online. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, this is cool. That's interesting with the gold. I wonder if you can take this off. Oh, no, it's glued on there. Okay. So, if you like gold and silver together, which a lot of people do, I kind of do. Um, gold and silver tone. Here we go. It has this cool, I don't know what I was going to say, circular, circle, dial, kind of silver pen right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right in the center. So, this is very cool. I like this. I would do... 12 on that. Very neat. So that's good. I've got enough sellable pieces that I don't feel like the box was too much. The box I was happy with winning for 26 is just, my goodness, they have handling fees and they use the most expensive shipping and I was going to combine it with their stuff and it just, they can mark some boxes not eligible, even though you could do up to 20 pounds, but for some reason they didn't want to do this box with anything else. I guess because they already had it packed up like that, so... I couldn't even get a reduction on the shipping, which kind of sucked. So I didn't realize that until after I bought it. So that's okay. I'm happy with it. I still would have done it. So this one is cool. It's different. It's got a, a round little ball here. And then it has this little disc. It's kind of scratched. Just need to be cleaned up a little bit. But that's an interesting one. I haven't seen this design. That's cute. I like it. So I would do three on that. Okay. Another stretch. Stretch is just not my thing because I just see too many. I don't want to sell it and somebody be unhappy because like stretch is compromised somewhere. Even if you check it, um, if it has really cool stones, you know, that's great because then they can use it in crafters. So that's going into the crafters. Let's see. Well, that's very random. Oh, okay. So it's got the little gold. It's, uh, what is that? Looks like it says something eight five nine eight five. I can't tell. I don't have my look on the bottom, but um, that's a really cool one. Of the earring. Oh, here we go. Here's a pair. So I don't know if anybody can see that. It's the inside. Let's see. Get a better angle. There we go. I really like that. Oh, I think that's upside down. I do think it says 985. I think 925 is silver, but I can't tell. I'll have to look into that, but these are really pretty. Those are very cool. Oh, I did see this one in the picture too, and I was like, it kind of looked like a butterfly. It's like a fan. This is gorgeous. This I love. 
if it's got all the stones, this is a nice little star piece. I love this. Yep. Everything looks good. This is gorgeous. Beautiful. I don't keep jewelry. I may keep one or two pieces um, that a friend of mine sent me that I love. But um, oh, I just love this. This is like, if I was going to keep one, this would be the one. That is so pretty. I don't see any maker's marks. But just on style alone. Yeah, I would do this for 20. I'm going to put that up probably on Etsy. Maybe Poshmark. That's gorgeous. Okay, we have another clamper. Made in China. So, that is pretty, but unfortunately it's faded. Some of this is coming off. So, I love this. I think you could really do something cool with this. If I could be artistic and, like, reimagine this, maybe color it, do something. I love the stone. But, unfortunately, for me, that goes into crafters because I'm not artistic like that. I wish I was crafty. Oh, this is pretty. We've got a gold and silver tone swirl. And then the little spacer has little clear rhinestones. I like this bangle. Very pretty. There you go. Yeah, that's nice. Let's see, it's kind of big. But you have to be able to get it over your knuckle part right there. So that's about an eight. Okay. Eight, eight and a quarter. So yeah, I really like this. I would do eight on this one. Oh goodness, that is a big earring. When you think it's a bangle, <laughs> that's a big earring. Let's see. I think this goes with those earrings. Let's see. Okay. It kind of looks like it from here. I would say yes, right? Yeah. I was doing three on this, so I would do ten for the set. That's really pretty. Because I was going to say ten on this, but I would just do the set for ten. So that's a nice... They go together. Really pretty. And then this one is like copper tone. Yeah, this one looks good. So this one I would do five on. Alrighty. Let's see what else we got here. Let's do the side to make room. Sorry about that different when you're doing it all in one take. I don't have the time to kind of separate and everything, but this is the best way to do it so that I don't have to waste time trying to edit and get it uploaded. This is definitely not something I would wear, but I just love seeing these. I love a girl who can wear this and pull it off. I just, what they say, I wouldn't have the stones to do it. It's a, I'm a very private person. I don't like attention so i wouldn't wear something where people would be like oh look at that it's cool i love it i love to look at it but it's not for me this is so cool it's like a mesh metal gold tone it looks like a belt kind of bracelet this is so neat i love this let's see how long this is And I hope everybody is having a nice holiday season, reflecting, having time with family if you can. I, I won't be traveling. All my family is where I live, so I'm lucky. Uh, eight and a half to nine with this, so very cool. I love this piece. Yeah, I would do eight on that. Our earring pieces over here. This I didn't even open because it was like, looks so dainty and small. Let's see what it is. It's just a, probably a little thin little necklace. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, it's like pieces of maybe extenders. That's what it looks like. Yeah, that's kind of cool because I actually could use that. On some of the necklaces that are kind of shorter, maybe I can just include that. But that's kind of neat. So, got some extenders. Put that off to the side. Oh, here's another cool piece that I saw. I was like, is that incline? It is. Yes, I knew the design, but I mean, sometimes people knock it off. So, 
she has that gorgeous lion so here's the little tag it has the lion image and then on the back it says i'm Klein. so that is gorgeous this uh, silver like wrapped wire and then the beautiful 3d lion there and there's the ak on the back of the lion oh i just absolutely adore this yeah that's another piece that if i was going to keep a piece might be this one i love it that's super cool it's really hard to measure these though this is the way there check on that one Ooh, there's a lot of this style this flex um kind of omega chain This one's bigger than the other one. It's got a big lobster claw there. Very wide, very heavy. This is just a nice, cool statement piece. And I mean, I'm imagine you could put a pen in if you have a large enough bale to put on here, just like the other one does. So let's see. I don't know if it's accurate to measure it long ways because it has that curve to it. So I would say if you're wearing it around your neck, like it's at least 16 inches. It might be a little bit longer, but. Yeah, this is cool. I would do eight on that. Now I've got this whole thing here. Here's the... Ah! Does this go with the earrings too? No, this one's a little different. I like this little like tennis bracelet. Got a nice closure there with the double locking. Yeah, that's really pretty. And those clear stones have some nice little fire in them. So, yeah, if you'd like a tennis bracelet, that's gorgeous. I would do eight on this. Let's see, let's measure her. I like to assign my jewelry gender. I know I shouldn't. Sometimes I say her, him, I don't know, them. That's a seven and a half. That's really cool. I like it. Very pretty. And we've got this little bad boy here. Oh, this would have been great for holiday stuff season. That seems, is that too long to be a bracelet? Let's see. Maybe it's an anklet? Because that looks so short. It looks too long to be, too short to be a necklace. It's only 10 inches total, 11. So maybe that's an anklet? That's something I don't know. I don't want to mess with them. I don't want to mess with that. That's really pretty, though. I'm going to put that in my crafters. So, maybe somebody will get a steal there. That'll be good good for them. And here's a little open cuff. Uh, some of these are, like, two or three of these look like dark stones. But that's a cute little piece for crafters. Now, this is interesting. These bangles all, I don't see a way to, you have to wear them all, all at once, I'm assuming. But, yeah. I could put it on, but I don't want to pull it off, so. Yeah, this is neat. I like this. A whole group of them like that. That's pretty cool. So you'd have to be able to wear it at the smallest part, I guess. Let's see, there's a little dip right there. These are really cute. Very neat. I like that. Yeah, it's a whole group of them. I'm not going to sit here and count how many, but you can see there's tons of them. So... I would do eight on that. That's kind of neat. All right. Well, here's another one of those stretch Omega-y kind of. I'm trying to see if there's a maker's mark. I don't think so. No. That's about 16. This is really pretty. In good condition. Doesn't have any kinks or dents or anything. Looks nice. Color is good. Yeah. Really pretty. I would do 12 on that. Things. We're getting to the bottom of the bin. Alright. Oh. Okay. So here's another one that's like clamper but not. It's like stretch. So... And it's so pretty. Unfortunately, see how that stretch is coming out. So let's straight into, straight into crafters. This is pretty. That's a nice one. Yeah, 
I like this one. Yep, I'll do five on that. Oh, how pretty, look at this. Pretty stone. And it's got these two clear stones here. That's a nice piece, it's interesting shape. Let's see, let me get it on this way. There we go, and then you can adjust it. As they go like side by side. Or you could put it, yeah, stretch it out a little differently. Very cool. So I would do the same, $5 on that. It's adjustable, you can kind of mold it to your arm and change it up how you want to. Okay. And we have this open cuff. It's kind of cool. You can also adjust that. Gold sew, uh, yeah. Five on that. Oh, look at this pendant. Got a huge bill, so this could go on something. Man, not too small, I think, for that, but just a little pendant like that. I would say three bucks on that if you're excuse me. <laughs> if you're interested in that. Here's another cool solid bangle. I'm trying to put like the bangles that were similar together at the end. I'll just kind of look at those and see. Sorry about the noise. I know it sounds louder always on the video than it does in person but let's see okay so we've got another super large hoop and then oh these are cute these are like the silver but with only three not like 300 so okay so here my hand is starting to get dirty but it's not full of dirt like when i normally that's why i wear the gloves too um so that's not too bad considering what i'm doing but yeah, sometimes I just don't feel like wearing the gloves and sometimes I do. There's a cute, this one's a little dainty one. I would do three on this, really cute. And then this was the stretch. It looks like hammered gold tone. Now this stretch is good. I can tell it's like snaps back. Hammered, I like this one. So I would do two on this one, that's pretty. Here's a big mamma jamma. This one looks heavy. This looks like when Chico's makes those big honking necklaces. I love, I love their statement pieces. Mm, I don't see any missing stones. This is a nice statement piece. Pretty stones. Okay. Yeah, that's really pretty. Oh no, missing one stone there, I was gonna say. Eight dollars, oh, it's missing a stone, so. Um, I still think this is a nice piece if somebody wanted to do it, but I just don't wanna mess with it, so. Going into crafters. If you can fix that, which I'm sure it's an easy fix for anybody who does that, you can get that and grab it and fix it up. Give it a second life. Ooh, these are pretty. I wish I could wear like stuff that wasn't precious metal because my ears get very infected if I try to even, as soon as I put it on, it's like immediately. And my mom can wear anything because my grandmother, you know, when she pierced her ears, they didn't have money for cold earrings. They had little strings and then they used little, you know, costume jewelry. So when she had me, she pierced my ears with little gold balls and I don't know, I guess that's why but I can't wear anything that is not precious metal. It just automatically, I break out, my ear gets red, the hole just starts closing up. These are so pretty. I would wear these in a heartbeat. That's really the only jewelry I like to wear is earrings. I don't want my earring holes to close. But these are pretty, they do have a little bit of scratching, but they're still so pretty from the front. You can't even, yeah. Ah, oh, I love these. I would do two of those. I wish I could wear them. Ooh, here's another, this is a big, 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 big pendant you could put through here. That would be a beautiful statement piece. This kind of looked like, I have a J. Crew piece that has these stones like this, very pretty. So I would do five on this. It's very heavy, it's, got, it's a very big piece. So, I've got a little baggie of, I see green oxidation on there. 
think this was a pin, but I'm not even going to pull it out because it's oxidized. I'm going to put that in crafters. I did see this in the picture and I thought it was funny because it looks like, um, it reminds me of, um, brass knuckles, <laughs> but it says love, but it's a bracelet. It's just funny because it's got that shape, but it's cool. Look at that. That's a really cool, funky piece. I think somebody would love that. And it's love, but you could kick somebody's butt with this thing. It's heavy. It's very heavy. So this is very unique. I would do seven on that. Mm, let's see. Yeah, no maker. We've got our magnetic hinge clamper gold tunnel. This is a beauty. I don't see all the issues, like with some of them very tarnished. This one's nice. Very heavy. If you have little tiny dainty arms, probably don't want to wear this because it would probably make your, it would be a lot of weight on your arm. This is just gorgeous though. So, yeah. A uh, little tiny piece of, uh, let's see. A little bit right there. I would do five on this one. Give it a nice, nice cleaning, but it still looks good right now, but it would just need a little bit of cleaning. And you got yourself a winner there. That's a pretty solid silver tone bangle. Oh, this is cute. It looks like Southwestern with that little blue cabochon, but it's a stretch. And like I said, I don't normally do the stretch. This one I might, cause I do have a bag full of, uh, they look like, Native American, Southwestern jewelry type, you know, foul, 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 I can't speak, um, but like how light and stuff. So this one I'll probably just throw it in that bag, but by itself, $2. And uh, this is, looks like an old vintage style. That's definitely going to go into crafters. Might as well just put that in there now. Oh, I love this pin. I love the enamel on here. It looks very, looks like 70s. Cute design. Yeah, that's definitely a keeper. I got to see if there's a maker's mark anywhere. I didn't see anything at first glance, but I need to get my loop and double check. But just, just this pin like this, I would do seven on this. This is gorgeous. That is a really, really pretty pin. Let's see. Got the other piece of those jumbo earrings. Those are all going to go in crafter's lot. So, any of these big hoop earrings. Um, I wouldn't sell you a dollar per piece. I would like lot them up if there's like, I do like three for a dollar. If it's close to, you know, the next number, I'll just throw them in. Here's a, a single earring. Let's see if there's another piece. Here's another little single hoop. Like a Pandora style bracelet. I love you, little charm. Black and white, little Scotty dog. Looks like a bunny, elephant. There's a lot of cool different um, animals. Elephant, little butterfly. This one's really cute. Yeah, and a heart. I would do two on this. That's really cute. All right. I'm getting down to the wire. Oh, this is lovely. I like this design. Let's see, I'll put this at the end, see how long this is. Okay, so here's the pendant, front side, silver tone with this really beautiful filigree design, and then the chain. God, I wish I knew the word to describe it, but it's got that, it's like hollow, kind of, and then it's linked and round. I don't know how to describe it. It's terrible. But you can see it. Words or pictures are worth a lot more than words can describe. So you can see the image. So this goes down to 10. And then with the pendant, the drop goes down to 11. It's about 20 to 22 inches. That is gorgeous. Yeah, I'll we'll do eight on that. We have a little, I've had a couple of James Avery like this, but this one is a little tarnished and whatnot. So... It's still nice, it's a nice piece, and you can put a pendant on just to, not to go with this, but just to kind of show, like, that pendant that I was saying for five earlier. Look at that. You can just put it on any kind of choker or, you know, solid chain. It's gorgeous. I, I would do two on this one. It needs a good cleaning. 
Let's see. We've got a pretty gold tone bangle. This is really nice. Silver tone hinged and it's got that safety. It's got the little safety attachment there, safety chain. Usually they don't put that on like super cheap things. That is beautiful. I love this. Yeah, very nice. So I would do seven on this piece. Okay. I've got a pair of little gold tone post earrings. Yeah, the little post looks like silver tone. They're cute. These are cute little earrings, so I'll do two on those. This is a Charming Charlie, but it's very um, tarnished, so I'm just going to put that into crafters. More earrings going into crafters, let's see. Let me pull out the last of the box and we'll go through that. Yeah, there's no really dirt or anything at the bottom of this box. That's nice. There was a little bit on some of the pieces. So my hands got a little dirty. Okay. So let's see. So I already have this piece and this piece. These are just earrings that are going to go in there. And... This didn't have a maid. I didn't see any maid on that. So I've got to go into wrappers. So I think I see, yeah, there's a pair here. How does this work? Oh, it's missing. The top pearl broke off. I just saw it. Yeah. Okay. So this would have been a nice pair, but it's not intact. So that's unfortunate. These are cute. They look very mod. Okay. Well, those are going to crafters. Okay, we've got Esquire GSQ. I, I feel like these are not expensive, but I'm going to look just to make sure and see if it's worth doing anything with it. Put that to the side. My grandfather used to always wear the Nugget watches, but they were real gold. I don't, I'm 100% this isn't real gold, but Elgin. Most likely it's just going to go into a crafter's lot. Let's put that to the side for now. This I think is like a no name. Yeah, I don't, I can't even see a maker. Usually it'll be on the face here, but I don't see anything. Okay, we've got these little, I guess when somebody turns 18, little earrings, because they're going into crafters. And then here we have the very last of it all. Okay, so there was only one of that cool baby girl Boricua earring, I love this, but only one. And look at this thing, I just saw it from the side. Holy canola, something happened to that. That needs to get banged into shape there. Here's that other large earring. And then a couple more of those little skinny, skinny, skinny bangles. Those are all going in there. And then we'll check these last few bangles. See if there's any that kind of match up. Oh, so sorry. Let's see. So I like this one by itself. So this one I would do $3 by itself. This is pretty... Got a pretty design, so we do two on that. And this one has these pretty clear stones all around it, so two on that. A little bonus hair for you. This looks like the gold tone, but it's silver tone. And the same thing, so three dollars on that. This is a very thin gold tone that's gonna go into crafters. Here's another gold tone one. This would be two. This is going to crafters. Let's go into crafters. And this one's just a little too tarnished, so that'll go. These will all go into crafters. So honestly, if you want the bangles, I would do like $5 for all of them, which there's a ton in the box. And um, the earrings, too, that look like bangles. So that is going to be everything, my friends. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video if you have. And if you got to the end of it, I so appreciate it. And I would appreciate it if you... Uh, give the video a thumbs up, like it, if you can share it with anybody. I'm trying to get my subscriber count up and, um, you know, I haven't been posting as much, but I will be um, getting through some things. So 
I really love doing this. I love doing it for you guys so you can see, you know, what's out there and for myself too. So it's um, something that I enjoy and I hope that you enjoy watching. So it is close to Christmas. It's not Thanksgiving, but I do want to say I'm so thankful for the family that I have. I love my family so much and, um, you know, you should appreciate them while they're here because you don't know how long we have or they have. So um, I just ask uh, that we all put out positive energy and love one another because the world so needs it right now. And um, I hope that you are all well. And if you're not, I'm hoping that you will be and want you to take care of yourselves. And so I will see you guys in the next video. I thank you so much for coming and bye guys.